Soviet Union designed the MiG-29 for pure air superiority, creating a highly maneuverable interceptor. Meanwhile, the United States Navy developed the F-A-18 as a versatile carrier-based fighter capable of both air combat and ground attack missions. But which one truly has the edge? You'll find the answer in this video. Keep watching till the end. The Cold War Rivals Across the Iron Curtain, Soviet military planners began to work on their own revolutionary designs. The latest Western developments, probably most notably the introduction of the F-16 Fighting Falcon and the F-A-18 Hornet, did not escape the keen Soviet eye. Their response came in the shape of the MiG-29 Fulcrum, pushed by Mikhail Waldenberg from the Mikoyan Design Bureau. Fulcrum development was placed under particular stress for performance and close combat skills, which reflected the Soviet doctrine of tactical flexibility and close-in fighting. When it finally, finally entered operational service in 1982, the MiG-29 caused a sensation. Since the end of the Soviet Union, demonstrations of its manifold maneuverability at air shows around the world have continued to challenge a set of assumptions regarding Soviet aviation technology. Advanced aerodynamics featuring swept wings and a distinctive twin vertical stabilizer configuration gave the fulcrum the ability to perform things that, up until that time, were considered impossible for a fighter aircraft. Technical Specifications The F-A-18 Hornet cruises the skies at a speed of 1,190 miles per hour. Powered by two General Electric F-404 turbofan engines, each capable of producing 16,000 pounds of thrust. With its advanced fly-by-wire controls, the propulsion system is decidedly characterized by superior handling traits within the entire flight envelope. Capable of operating over a distance of 1,243 miles, this aircraft undertakes fleet defense and even missions related to deep strikes. An armament suite that's nothing to sneeze at. At its core, the M61 Vulcan cannon is a 20mm Gatling-style rotary cannon capable of firing off 6,000 rounds per minute, a true devastating assault weapon at close range. Supplementing this will be an arsenal of air-to-air -air missiles, a close-range dogfighting AIM-9 Sidewinder, a medium-range radar-guided AIM-7 Sparrow, and an advanced AIM-120 AMRAAM for beyond visual range combat. The maximum external ordnance that can be carried is up to 13,700 pounds on nine hardpoints. Quite in contrast, this is to the impressive specification of the MiG-29 Fulcrum. Twin Klimov RD-33 turbofans launch it to an astonishing 1,519 miles per hour ranking it amongst the very fastest of all tactical fighters from its era. With a superior thrust-to-weight ratio, coupled with specially designed aerodynamics, the Fulcrum easily performs its characterizing Cobra maneuver, showing an extraordinary post-stall capability. The main weapon in the Fulcrum is the GSH-31 cannon, with heavier projectiles carrying much greater kinetic energy per shot than those exiting the Hornet's M61. In a normal air-to-air -air load, the MiG-29 would carry a combination of both AA-10 Alamo and AA-11 Archer missiles, the latter being especially feared for its outstanding off-boresight performance achieved with the state-of-the-art infrared seeker. Advanced Systems But leaving the raw specifications aside, some really smart avionics and sensor systems are mounted on both aircraft. The F-A-18 Aviator Glass hosts a state-of-the-art HOTUS system, enabling the pilot to execute even the most complicated maneuver while sustaining situational awareness. The AN-APG-73 radar system of the Hornet features extremely good target detection and tracking, supported by an advanced electronic warfare suite that provides hard protection against enemy missiles. While cruder, the MiG-29's avionics had their own special quirks. Its helmet-mounted sight system, used in combination with the AA-11 Archer missile, 
allowed a MiG-29 pilot to target enemy aircraft merely by looking at them, capability that would not be equaled by Western fighters for years to come. The aircraft's own NO-19 slotback radar, while much shorter in range compared to the Hornet system, proves highly effective in close-range combat scenarios. Combat Analysis At longer ranges, better radar and beyond-visual-range missiles would give the F-A-18 a decisive advantage. It's possible that the Hornet pilot could identify and shoot down the MiG-29 well before the Fulcrum pilot recognizes that he's under attack. Better situational awareness for the American fighter, coupled with electronic warfare capabilities, would permit its pilot to control the engagement and decide when and how to fight. However, if the MiG-29 closes the distance, the dynamics drastically change. In any type of dogfight with turns, Fulcrum is an extremely dangerous opponent because of his much higher speed, maneuverability, and thrust-to-weight ratio. Indeed, together with the Archer missile and the system of helmet-mounted sight, even the tiniest flash of the opponent's aircraft may well result in a successful shot. This would allow the MiG-29, with its phenomenal high-alpha capability, to point its nose and its weapons at opponents in the most extreme of flight circumstances. Real combat has cast a great deal of light on both planes. It's taken the F-A-18 into the battles of Operation Desert Storm to the present sorties over Libya and the War on Terror. Use during Desert Storm proved the Hornet's merit, originally for air-to-air -air combat, strike missions on one sortation. Reliability and ease of maintenance have especially come into great praise, with high availability even for taking off from the demanding use of aircraft carriers. Evolution of the F-A-18 continued with the variant Super Hornet. A few modernization programs increased the capabilities of the MiG-29 by improving its avionics and weapon systems. This goes to prove how well both aircraft were initially designed to adapt well to changes in combat natures. The final decision in this comparison is not which one is better, but rather which fighter can do its assigned job better. The F-A-18 Hornet is an outstanding multi-mission fighter. It performs with the same ease in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. Advanced avionics, superior situational awareness, and versatility justify it in front of modern combat, where information often plays a more decisive role than raw performance. The MiG-29 is hailed as a pure air superiority fighter flying at incredible velocities with high maneuverability combined with lethal capability in close range. This aircraft's overall effectiveness, however, comes within that same raw performance combined with advanced weaponry to make the aircraft lethal within its role. It may be reduced by having a shorter range and less sophisticated avionics. After all, as in any dogfighting, the outcome would depend more upon the skill of the pilot, the tactical situation, and the parameters of the mission rather than on the aircraft per se. Interested? Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.